I want to say how impressed I am with Japan. Um, it's a very classy bunch of guys. They're, they're a good model for anybody anywhere, whether it's the states or anyone, on how to operate and conduct business. Um, they're classy in the cafeteria. They're classy in the sidewalk. They're extremely well coached. I think that football team could win a lot of FCS games. Those guys are, that's, they should be very proud of what they're doing. Um, and it was an honor for me really to play against them. And you see that kind of execution and determination. It's uh, very, very impressive. Uh, and you can see why they've had so much success in, uh, in this tournament. And uh, very, very impressed with that outfit. And again, just classic. I just, it's a, it's a joy really to compete against that kind of group. As far as our guys, again, defensively, uh, I thought we played pretty well. Uh, we were a little bit slow starting offensively. Not exactly sure why all that is. We had a couple turnovers in the block field goal. Um, but I thought our coaches and our players did a nice job making some adjustments at halftime and getting after we again started fast in the second half. We put a lot of emphasis on that, and, uh, and it paid off, and I think uh, carried through. Uh, and really well balanced, and you've got Two guys sitting in here. One was the player of the game, but uh, a lot of really good players on our team, obviously, and guys willing to share the load. And uh, you know, you got two quarterbacks playing, which doesn't always happen a lot, but they're their best cheerleader for each other. You got a stable of guys at running back, and they don't get jealous, and they all kind of bring it. It's really fun to coach a bunch of guys like that. They're not selfish. Uh, they're a lot of football intelligence. Um, a lot of things we're able to do is because of the attitude and the football intelligence of these guys. So, very fun. Uh, we'll have to see what the training report says. As you guys, you guys have been through this before. I mean, it's, you know, playing a game every couple days. We'll see where we're at health-wise. And um, uh, we didn't get a buy. Japan got a buy. Mexico got a buy, and uh, that's okay. It's a heavyweight fight. We're, we're willing to stand in there and fight. Um, so we're going to have to heal up, get ready. France is playing very good football. We know they got guys, and we'll have to redial and get ready for them. But uh, again, an honor to coach against Japan and see how they operate. Very, very honored there, and really proud of our guys. Again, just a lot of other people showing up and making plays. And you know, this guy here to my left, uh, you know, we kind of had started Kevin a little bit, but he was balling. He came in, made plays, and this guy's willing to rotate. And so that's fun when you have those kind of guys. Dylan, that first drive of the second, in the third quarter. How important was that to really get the team going? It was a close game at that point. And I mean, so it's a close game at 14, uh, whether it's 14 points. How important was that first drive to put some points on the board and you kind of separate yourself? Um, I mean, it's huge, you know. Uh, especially we did it in you know, a running ball. Um, just coming out with momentum, you know, defense was playing lights out, you know, like they have these first two games. I, I remember telling them at halftime, like, look, keep playing, you know, we, we got you on offense. And, you know, just to get things going and you know, get a little momentum on our side, it's, it's always huge when you score to open the half or open the game. So. Coach, you talked a little bit about, um, you know, Japan as a team and, you know, their professionalism around campus. But I guess more specifically, the quarterback, their DBs, some of the receivers, I mean, they had quite a few athletes. I mean, their execution is excellent. I mean, they don't miss a beat. I mean, they really don't. I mean, they, they make you be, they, they do everything perfectly. They're where they're supposed to be. I mean, their quarterback was extremely tough, delivering the football and duress a little bit, getting it off. Again, I think they're coaching. They do a lot of stuff that give you problems uh, schematically. So, I mean, all the way around, we know they're, they're very talented, and we've watched little bits of film of different teams over there and these guys playing in the X League. And, uh, you know, number 18, I've seen him run up and down the field enough. I wasn't kicking the ball to that kid. I'm like, no. I teased him afterwards. I said, sorry, but you're not getting the ball. We're not giving you the ball. Since for Foster, you could see them again in the, in the gold medal game. How important was this game? I don't want to say to send a message, but to kind of plant a little seed in the back of their minds with the win. I mean, we approach it as every game being important. You know, no game is more important than the next one. So. You know, our preparation for everybody is the same. You know, we come out, we get our work in, and we try to prepare for everybody. We don't underestimate anyone. You know, everyone in this tournament can play pretty good football, you know. And like I said, hats off to hats off to Japan. They're a really tough team. They played great football tonight uh, all around the board. They had a lot of great athletes that, I mean, knew how to play the game very well, you know. And they, they kind of shocked us initially, you know, you know, by the way they played. And they played fast, they played physical, and they played the game the way it should be played. 
and I, hats off to them. They're they're a great team. It was a pleasure playing. Was it important to win this game though? I mean, was it in, in the grand? I mean, obviously you could lose and still well, no, you couldn't. You could have lost tonight and still play them in the championship. But, yeah. I mean, in the in the for the mental for the for that psyche, how important was it? Oh, it's, it's real important. You know, we like I said, we come out. We want to win every game. You know, we don't want to. Uh, come out and be like, you know, hey, we're, we're going to come out and, you know, kind of tank this game. So, yeah, mentally, yeah, we came out, we like, we want to dominate, we want to win the game, you know, we want to play the game at a high level. And most importantly, we were worried about USA, you know, playing USA football the way we were supposed to play, you know, we're a coast to play, you know, and uh, we just try to get behind our pads and play the game fast uh, the right way. And, you know, it was really important to get this win, though, you know, just like the game before against Mexico. And it's the same with the next game coming up against France. It's an important game because it's the next one. Coach, what made the running game so effective for you in the second half there? Well, I think, again, just they were a little bit different front than Mexico, although they mixed in some of the similar stuff. So I think just getting adjusted to that, uh, what their front was and how they played it and how we fit it in the running game. I think, again, uh, credit to our coaching staff and our backs. We stayed patient with it and kept going to it. Uh, obviously, we know we've got a pretty good offensive line and good backs, and that's going to wear on you a little bit. We're going fast. So that wears on you. So I think uh, just a combination of getting getting our tracks. You know, we, we changed a couple things at halftime. Nothing much, uh, but all those things. It's funny. Little things happen in big ways. And you know, you look at the film, and there'll be just a six inches off here or a step off there, and we don't get anything. And then we get that in the second half, and we we're able to get some yards. France has got a solid quarterback in Paul Durant. They got a heck of a returner in, in Dabley. How do you win that game, and, and how, for lack of a better word, scary are they offensively? Well, they've got dudes. They do, and we have guys that coached in France. They, they know them uh, very well. We, we know those guys a little bit. Uh, and, yeah, they, they are. And we, Like you said, we, we respect everybody. We're not – we don't put anybody up here or anybody down there. We're trying to chase greatness daily, and that's what we'll do against these guys. And I've always been of the mind that you respect everyone and you fear no one. You know, you play the game as hard as you can, then you look up at the end and see what happened. Uh, so we know how talented they are, we know how well coached they are, and we know they got guys. They've got guys been in NFL camps. They, they got guys, we know that. So uh, we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to play well. For us, what does it take? I've said this, I've been in this game over 30 years, and I think ultimately at the end of the day, turnovers are big. Who can run the ball and stop the run? And how are you in special teams? I think take every pro, high school, college football game in the last 100 years, probably those three things determine a lot of the wins. Uh, Coach, how's Kevin Cummings doing? That we'll like see. A... He actually thought he was not bad when he, came, when he came out. He said he was okay. We'll see. If it's a high ankle thing, those things are uh, kind of tough. I don't think it was a high ankle sprain. Coach, uh, about Japan team, how do you think uh, strong point and weak point about Japan team? Wow, I don't think they have any weak points. Again, they play extremely hard, great pad level. Again, they do a lot of things that give you problems. I think I have a lot of respect for them because these guys know you, the devil's in the details in everything, your alignment, your eyes, everything. And they, they take that to the nth degree and nobody is out of position. You look at some of those routes that they threw against us and fed. I mean, the onside kick, perfect example. Like, did perfect, perfect, and got it. I mean, that that was tremendous execution. I mean, on one hand, I was disappointed, but on another hand, I was like, "Whoa, that, that was awesome." <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, you have to appreciate that, and they—that's the thing for them. I mean, now, do they have as big as guys, or maybe guys have been playing as long as the states guys? No. But there's a lot of guys that can play football there. And like I said, I think if you line that team up and play the FCS football in the United States, they'd win their share of games. They would. Anyone else? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.